Matthew 10, you notice the word call. The outline is provided for you in your program this morning. There are five areas of concentration dealing with call. First of all, the definition of calling, the significance of calling, the sufficiency of calling, the security of calling, and the succession of calling, all dealing with the fact that the disciples were called. What is interesting is, is that the word called here is the word that speaks of the importance of bringing someone to oneself. A bid or invitation to bring someone to one's self. Jesus is calling the disciples. What he is doing is he is calling them from whatever they're doing to himself. We get to the scope of the calling. We're going to examine the ones he did call and their backgrounds and the meaning of their name. And we're going to see how... He would often call fishermen, and it says they immediately left their nets and they followed. He'll call Matthew, who was a publican, all involved in the office of taxation, and he would call Matthew, and Matthew would leave, and he'd come alongside of Jesus. I'm going to read some verses here, and notice the emphasis on this idea of call to come to oneself. In Matthew 15, 32, it says this, Then Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitudes because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat, and I will not send them away fasting lest they faint in the way. Notice he says that he called them unto him. Matthew 20, 25 says, but Jesus called them unto him and said, you know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them and they that are great exercise authority upon them. But notice again, he called them unto him. Mark 3, 13 reads as follows, and he goeth up into a mountain and called unto him whom he would, and they came unto him. What is interesting is, is it's in this terminology that we often use the phrase that we come to Jesus. We ask that in evangelism, will you come to Jesus? The old Billy Graham crusades, and he used to give the invitation would you come to Jesus? What is he saying here? He's saying, will you come to his aid? Will you come to his side? Will you come to him as a disciple? I like to illustrate it through the calling sometimes of parents. I'm from the generation that was big on the street light. You know what I'm talking about. Wherever you were, when that street light came on, you better make sure that you were somewhere in the vicinity of your parents. What was interesting, you could be playing, you could be out anywhere, and all the parents, but when the parents call your name, well, you better make sure you were somewhere called unto them. And you know if they called you once, and then called your first and middle name. Lord help us. Oh, you better sure enough come to the side or near where the parents were. That's what it means when Jesus says that he called the twelve. He called them unto him. And that's what has happened to all of us. We have come to Jesus in discipleship. That's the meaning of it. That's the definition to, to come an invitation to, to come, a bid to come to oneself. You and I, we have come to Jesus. I don't know a better place to come to than to come to Jesus. 
And we've come to him. Notice that he goes on to talk about the significance. What is the significance of this call? What do we mean by significance? The importance of it. Turn with me to John's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 44, dealing with discipleship. What is the significance of this call of discipleship? What is the importance of it? I believe we see it in John 6, 44.